Okay, Jimmy, we're here with the Allen Heath XB10 uh, broadcast mixer. It's packed an awful lot into a very, very small package. Yes, it has. This is essentially designed for live radio broadcast, I guess, from locations. Mm -hmm. But in, uh, in, I guess, the scope of sort of, you know, university or hospital radio, it would be perfect for that as well. Mm. Essentially, what we've got is uh, three mic inputs. Then we've got a telco input and a, a clean feed output to correspond. And that's for bringing in external callers. Mm -hmm. You can do that either with something like a phone hybrid or you can switch over and use the USB interface yeah. and bring your external callers in and a return to them as well mm. on Skype or yeah, something like brilliant. that. Um, we've got a couple of stereo channels and there, there's lots of other nice little things like there's this 25 pin D sub on the back, mm -hmm. which gives you uh, facilities for remote muting the channels, mm -hmm. for instance, for the mic channels so you can have a cough button. Um, and the other one is that you've got uh, triggers. So when you push on on a stereo channel, it sends an output through the D-sub, so you've got the facility to do things like automatically start CD players, because mm, mm. everyone uses CD players now. But <laughs> irrelevant for that, um, I, I think, you know, for, for its purpose, it's it's got the options to interface. Yeah. And that's really valuable, because that's something that's very hard to do. You know, you can't just get inside a normal console and go, oh, yeah, I'll just wire an extra pair on the back of this on switch, because yeah. it's not going to be the right kind of switch. Yeah. So the logic's all there. Mm. Um, what do you think of the, the, the dynamic control Okay, um, yeah, you've got a compressor you can switch in on uh, on the mic input channels, and that cuts in around, what, negative 20? Yeah. About there. Um, so, Soft yeah, uh, you know, high pass filter you can switch in. Uh, interestingly, and the um, faders, which are on potentiometers, uh, yeah, they go up to unity. It's just, again, yeah, yeah. all speaking it to the go design. Up to plus 10 no, or even no. 11. And that's the that's the heart of it. This is very much built for purpose. I mean, all the, uh, all the different switching for monitors, you, things you can switch differently to guest headphones as to uh, the presenters. Mm. It's all just been really, really well thought out for, for the radio workflow, which is completely different to a, say, recording studio or a, or a live application. Very I think so. that's the heart of it. Someone has really, really thought about this. Yeah. And packed and an awful lot in. Little, little things like there's a button here, which, you know, it's recessed, so you need to push it with a pointy thing. Mm. But that then automatically, when you turn on any of the mic channels, will mute the monitor output. Mm. So it's got all this, all these intelligent little features. And yeah. And I think for me, this this is something that, you know, is fairly user-friendly to use. So mm. if you are a novice operator, it's very easy to go, oh, I want to play a CD, I'll turn the CD channel on, mm. that kind of thing. Um, but if you're a bit more advanced in the knowledge of how, how you operate a panel, then this is going to deliver mm. pretty much everything you want in, in that kind of application. As you say, I think it's very much designed for purpose, and mm. I think they've got it exactly right. Absolutely.